Do you know how will you avoid overfitting in your model? Overfitting is a very popular problem in uh, machine learning. Whenever we are trying to design some model and there some issue happens because of overfitting. So this is a popular question which is asked in interviews also. And in your day to day life, when you're doing your work, they may ask you about overfitting. So let's see like what exactly is the answer for this. So overfitting can be removed because by various techniques. So one of the best way that we have found to prevent overfitting is the technique of cross validation. So in simplest version of this technique, what we do is that we divide the data set into two populations. So two sets, one is a training population and the other is testing population. So by using cross validation, we use training population to create the model, whereas testing population is used for testing the model, right? And then we have a validation uh, population also. So I'll explain you with the example. So let's say this is an experiment we are trying to do. And in that experiment, we have some kind of a parameters. Now what we have done is that we have divided our data set into training, validation and test population. So what we do is that we first train, like now in this cross uh, validation, what we do is that we have created five subsets. Out of those five subsets, we are using four subsets for training and then one is being used for validation. And after validation, we go to the test, right? So what we do is that we keep on repeating this experiment in different ways with different kind of parameters. And we keep on moving this validation subset from one set to another set to another set kind of a thing. If you see, this is a way where we are doing k-fold cross validation, where we are, we, we are validating whatever a model comes up with that. So based on that, what we do is that we minimize the chances of our model to memorize the training data set, right? So because now it gets a different kind of a training data set every time. And based on that, if it works fine, then only our model is like strong enough to avoid the overfitting. There's another way to like, you know, avoid overfitting, which is that we can collect more data. So if in the beginning itself, we collect more data, then we can be sure that the chances of overfitting are like you know, lesser. Whereas when we have smaller data set, then uh, our model can learn and memorize the data set very easily, right? So with more data set, we have less chances of memorization and that way we can create a correct model. Another option to reduce uh, the overfitting is to reduce the number of features. So when we have a complex model, we may have like overfitting, the model is trying to uh, remember all the features and every feature, we, even if it is not important, but it is trying to like, you know, remember it. And based on that, it is predicting very well on the training data set. Whereas if we reduce the number of features, then model becomes simpler. And that way the variance also is reduced. And based on that, the performance of model can be boosted by reducing the overfitting. Right? So if lesser number of features, which means model is simpler and it is actually reliant on specific features to predict certain things, right? So that way overfitting can be reduced. Another part is that when we are doing model tuning, then we may have to stop early. So if we are iterating through different kind of hyperparameters, then what we do is that in the beginning, uh, we have a like high bias and low variance kind of a thing scenario where model like, you know, is not working so well, but after some time, when the like you know bias is reduced and that time the like model is started working very well right but after that point what happens is that the performance of model starts reducing because of the overfitting so on training data set if the green line is the training data set where the model is performing so well whereas in the red line the it's like test data set here the model is not performing so well after a point right so we have to know where to stop right if we stop early, then underfitting may occur. If we stop late, then overfitting may occur. So what we have to do is that we have to find a right trade-off point where we stop and that is the place where we can avoid the overfitting. All right, that's all in this series. If you have any questions or comments, do let us know in the comment section. And we also hope to get some feedback from you. Share it in the comment section. That will be very helpful for us. And if you want us to cover any other topic, we'll be happy to cover that for you. Thank you and do subscribe to this channel so that you can get latest information and latest questions in machine learning and so that you are practicing for your interview as well as for your regular like discussions, technical discussion in your team and it will be very helpful for you to learn more machine learning using these sessions.
Thank you.